Okay, how many people have you known that when you started in your business, that was the person you looked up to because they were the number one earner in your store? They seemed like they were the best, but you know what? They're not the best anymore. This is a big one. This is a big one right here. This says downslides after success. Who in here has done something really successful and then had a downslide? Freaking sucks, right? You see this? I damn sure didn't draw this. This is my brother, right? He's a good drawer. I sit down with my brother all the time and I tell him what I'm thinking of. He draws it like Pictionary. We make a killer Pictionary team, right? Brandon, where you at? Brandon, do me a favor. I want you to watch. And by the way, this morning as we're talking about this stuff, this is before we get training. Does everybody understand I'm building a house right now? They're working on the foundation before they build the house. Okay, the foundation is more important than the home itself because even if we go and build a cool house If it's built on sand not on good foundation, it's gone. How can I ask you a question? How many of you in here want to make money for one year and how many of you in here want to make money until you die? You feel me? How many people do you know that had a great marriage at one point that don't have it anymore? One time you looked up to them and you're like, man, they're awesome. They're really cool. And now they're not together. Okay, how many times, right? Did you see somebody who's on fire and you really thought that they're awesome? And today they're just so lost, okay? How many people have you known that when you started in your business, that was the person you looked up to because they were the number one earner in your store? They seemed like they were the best, but you know what? They're not the best anymore. How many times have you seen a guy hit a month, he's killing it, crushing it, but then the next month he, I am not interested in that life. Listen to this, there's only one word in my life, it's called scale, S-C-A-L-E. If I cannot get better every single month, it kills me. It's like a vampire getting staked in the heart. Okay, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? You willing to go backwards again? You better not be, okay? It's to maintain, increase, and multiply until you die. This right here, Brandon, tell him what this means and I'm gonna explain this to you. And by the way, he's really good at drawing, but we talked about this and I'm gonna have him explain it to you. Yeah, so we, uh, we talked about this in two parts. One is the, uh, basically the self-inflicted wound. Okay, so we talk about pride before the fall. Um, having that great month thinking, okay, I've got this or whatever, letting loose a little bit, letting, uh, letting your guard down a little bit, and next thing you know, you're sliding down. Um, there's the second part to that, which is just out of your control. Um, so we have this guy, he slid down, he's in the valley now, but he's got something lighting his path now. He's got this lamp that he's holding before him. Um, he's also holding a book here representing knowledge, truth, wisdom, things he's growing, he's training. The lights in front of him, doesn't matter that he's in the valley, that he's in uh, this shadow. The shadow's behind him though. The shadow's his past, okay? He's moving away from that, he's moving forward. He's not scared, he's not worried. He's actually very confident in the light that he's holding in front of him. So he's got a little grin on his face. He's gone through shit before. Doesn't matter how hard it gets, he's, he's good to go. He's gonna climb back up uh, out of this, but the light's gonna guide his way. Now watch this guys, I wanna tell you this, as my brother explained that to you, you'll notice some key things here. Money, you're crushing it, right? You have a bad month. The month isn't as big as the last month. So you know what happened, guys? That's called a downslide. How you'll handle a, di a downslide will determine how successful you'll be. Understand that, and I would write that down, okay? Because you're all gonna have them. How fast can you recover? He explained that the shadow behind the man, the shadow behind him, it's behind you, it's your past. Understand this, how many people, right? The downside, they keep thinking about it while they're wishing they could go forward. How the hell are you gonna go forward if you're thinking about what's behind you? The shadow is behind you, move forward, okay? Look, every person in this room, right? Every person in this room probably doesn't deserve what it is that they could get, it's the truth. But that's behind you, including me. That's behind you. Look at the grin on this guy's face. I love this, it's probably my favorite part. This is the way I run through life with the grin. I'm always excited. You know why? Because this valley, how much shit have you guys gone through in your life? Are you kidding me? When you're in a downslide, you've been in so much more shit than this before. It doesn't bother you. You know you're coming back up. What's your light? Well, number one, this was me. Look in his hand, training, growing, getting better. I was always studying. I knew this. Whenever I had a downside, I had a triple down on my training, not double down, triple down. Let me explain what that means. Massive discipline had to come back into place. I had to take myself back down to ground zero. Watch this. We call this an emergency move. In my company, I'm doing this, 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 all of a sudden plateau or this. I don't know why. Boom. We go back to zero fast. Stop. We chill. No more eating out. 
okay? No more buying stupid shit. Done, lock it up. We're done, we're going back to ground zero. Remember when we drove the $2,000 cars, baby? Yeah, you got a 300 grand car paid off in the driveway? Don't give a shit. You go back to the mindset of driving a two grand car.